In the last lesson, we learned how to compare fractions with the same denominator. What that means is that the shape of the same size is divided up into the same number of pieces. Then we have to look at the numerator to see how many pieces we're talking about. Here we have one-fourth, and that means out of four equal pieces, one piece is shaded in. Here we have three-fourths, which means out of the same shape, the same size, there's four equal pieces and three are shaded in. Therefore, the, num the bigger the numerator, when the denominator is the same, the bigger the fraction. So three-fourths is greater than one-fourth, and we can tell just by looking at the picture. Today we're going to learn what to do when the numerators are the same and the denominators are different. Let's use cake for an example. Here I have a piece of, or two cakes exactly the same. This cake on the left I'm going to divide up into three equal pieces. This cake that's exactly the same size I'm going to divide up into six equal pieces. Now, what I want to know is which pieces are larger. What happens when you take a cake the exact same size and you cut it up into more pieces? Well, what happens is the more pieces you have, the smaller your piece gets. Because with this cake, I only have to share with three people. And this cake, I have to share with six people. So my pieces are getting smaller. So let's turn this into a fraction. This cake right here, I only have three total pieces. This cake right here, I, I have six total pieces. If I were to eat just one piece, I would have one-third of this cake, and I would have one-sixth of this cake. The numerators are the same, and I want to know which piece is bigger. Whenever the numerators are the same, you look at the denominators. The denominator that is the smallest is going to be the bigger fraction. So one-third is greater than one-sixth. And I can tell this just by looking at the cake because these pieces are going to be bigger than these pieces only because there's less people to share with so you get more cake. I went shopping and I bought myself two scarves that were the same size. One scarf is one-sixth blue, that means one piece out of six, and the other scarf is one-fourth blue, which means one piece out of four. My question is, which fraction is less, one-sixth or one-fourth? I can tell by looking at this picture which fraction is less. If you look, the numerators are the same. When the numerators are the same, we look at the denominators. Remember, the denominator tells you the total number of equal parts. The smaller the denominator, the bigger the piece, because there's less people to have to share with. So, that means that one-sixth is less than one-fourth. If I look at my scarf, I can see that the one-sixth is smaller than the one-fourth. So, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the part, the bigger the fraction is. If you look at the fraction strips here, here is my one whole, right here. And here I have one-fourth compared to one-sixth. And just by looking at it, I can tell that one-sixth is less than one-fourth. Let's look at another example. Let's say that I have two ribbons the exact same size. One of the ribbons is two-fourths pink, and the other one is two-thirds pink. Which fraction is less, two-fourths or two-thirds? So I'm going to use my fraction strips to compare. Here's my one whole, and then I've got my two-fourths right here, and I've got my two-thirds right here. Just by comparing them, my two-fourths 
and my two thirds. I see that the denominator or the numerators are the same, so I have to look at the denominators. And just by looking at my fraction strips, I can figure out pretty quickly that two fourths is less than two thirds. Remember that when two fractions have the same numerator, the fraction with the greater denominator is less than the other fraction because the smaller the denominator, the less pieces you have to share. The bigger the denominator, the more you have to share, so the smaller the pieces get. That's how we compare fractions with the same numerator. Now it's time to do the guided practice with your teacher.